You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey you guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you into the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. I believe we are on Kaycon's path. So y'all, I've just uh Oh, I just, you know, smoked up a little bit. You know, I'm I'm feeling really good. I've never done a video while uh you know, having a bit of the, after having a bit of the grass before, but I suppose this will be my first. Um, I'm not sure how this video will go. I'm just going to try and do it as normal as possible. But if I sound out of it, then you guys definitely know why. You know, it just had a little bit of green, you know. Some of that good leafy green. <clears throat> no, nothing nothing else here. Just green. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy it for the next 18 minutes while entertaining you. And let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up. And let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, that is also regrettably true. I, I didn't know you had so many issues in your daily life. I try to keep my family drama away from my friends. No need to involve you guys in issues you have no way of helping me with. I'm sorry you guys had to see this. You don't have to apologize. She's the one who did it. Seriously, what's her problem? Grandmother hates me. She enjoys taking every opportunity she has to flaunt her power over me and make me miserable. She was probably beside herself with the prospect of humiliating me in front of friends. That's horrible! Why would she go out of her way to make you feel unwelcome at your own home? Because this isn't my home. Not really. I'm just a bastard to her. You think she wants to have me around? The only thing keeping me here is the fact that my father doesn't have other children. I'm pretty sure I said this before. And to be honest, I didn't think you were serious about it. Why would I make shit like this up? That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, I I'm sorry. Kuroda, please don't take this as me blaming you, but why didn't you warn me she was coming? I wanted to, but she made sure to order me to accompany her to accompany her here just so I wouldn't have the opportunity to do so. Uh, she's sneakier than I thought. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh, father, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Come on, there's no need to be that for that sort of tone. I ran into your grandmother as I was getting home and was informed you had guests. From the look Alexander gave me, I imagine she came here. So you also decided to come make your presence known to my friends. I'm touched. Elder Hare's smile falters for a second. He awkwardly scratches the back of his neck, looking at the, bu looking at the butler sitting next to him. Kuroda. Could you go have dinner, have dinner prepared for us? Make sure there is enough for our guests. Very well, sir. Will your mother also be joining you for dinner? No. I came up with an excuse to have her said she'd go back to her friend's place. I figured that'd give everyone some quiet time. How very kind. What are the strings attached to your favor this time? Kaken, I don't think you need to talk to him like that. He seems to be trying to help. <laughs> sure. This help always has strings attached to it. His father looks away for a second, his gaze casting itself down to the floor. That's... hmm... If we could just speak over, speak over dinner. There's no need. If you have something you want to ask of me, then just do so already. I'll be having dinner with my friends in my own room. Thank you very much. Kuroda, could you have some sushi prepared and sent here, please? Fox looks between the two, hesitating for a second before speaking out. As you wish, young master. Kuroda-san walks out of the room, giving us one last uncertain look before closing the door behind him. That was unnecessary, Keisuke. Kaken, I don't think you have to be so harsh on your dad. He doesn't look like he means anything bad. Saya leans onto Keisuke's shoulder, whispering those words into his ear. I see the older hare's ears twitch as he tries to listen to what she's saying, curiosity flashing in his eyes. Yeah, can't you go a bit easy on him? No matter how I look at him, I just see a man standing awkwardly in front of his son. Can't think badly of him like I do with Keisuke's grandmother. Please don't take offense to this, but you two are just outsiders looking in. You have no idea what he's like. He never comes to see me unless he has something to ask. And when I say ask, I mean order. Case K, I don't really, really don't think your friends need to see this. Hey, can't we please step outside for a second to talk? Case K looks at the two of us for a second, the anger in his eyes dissipating just a bit. He's probably arguing with himself about whether or not to act this way in front of us. Give Dad a chance. We also don't know him as well as, as he does, so... I think we're also kind of discounting his opinion on it rather quickly. Fine. The two walk out of the room without saying another word, leaving Sai and I alone. That was surreal. I know, I feel like I shouldn't be here right now. Yeah, I got that feeling too, although I'm sure Kaken would say would say we're crazy if we told him that 
Unfortunately, I am pretty sure you're right. Saya looks away, biting her lip. She sits herself down on Keisuke's bed, awkwardly kicking at the floor. What do you think they're talking about out there? I have no idea. I'm honestly surprised at this whole thing. I knew his family was tense, but I never imagined it was this much. Yeah, usually when people talk about family issues, they tend to exaggerate them a little because of anger or stuff like that. In his case, it seems like he was downplaying it instead. Do you think we should say something to him? What is there to say? Hey, I'm sorry your grandma's a bitch, but... By the way, I think you're too harsh on your dad. Maybe we just don't word it like that. You do agree with me, right? On what? Saya's ears flop down next to her face as she fidgets uncomfortably on her seat, clearing her throat multiple times before she speaks. That that he was kind of out of line. But the way he talked to his dad, I mean, not with his grandmother. Honestly, fuck that woman. She's an old hag. Yeah, I agree. It really looked like to me like his dad was feeling pretty bad about the whole thing. Saya nods, her eyes glued to her feet as she moves them forward and back on the air. You think we should say something? Didn't we already do that? He wasn't exactly thrilled to hear it, either. Yeah, but I don't know. It might sound stupid for me to say this since I never really had many issues growing up, but I really think that family should stick together. If his dad is offering him an olive branch, I really think he should take it. His family's problems have nothing to do with us, though. We have no business saying anything. No offense, but you're a real pushover when it comes to this kind of thing. Hey! It's true. Not our problem. None of our business. Kicken's our friend. If we see him doing something we think is wrong, isn't it our duty to say something? Especially if we think it might help him? It sounds a lot simpler when you put it in such terms, but the reality is that he doesn't sound like he wants, any, wants us to say anything. He doesn't even want us to know about it. Saya jumped off the bed, landing on her two feet. She looked at me with a sudden fierce look in her eyes. Well, too late for that. The cat's already out of the bag. All it takes for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. I'm going to say something with, with or without you. First of all, I'm surprised you can even quote something as philosophical as that, as that at all. She attempts to laugh, but only manages to elicit a dry, meek chuckle. You really, have to, you, do really, you really do have a penchant for getting yourself mixed up with other people's business, huh? Fine. I'll back you up. Smiling, Saya walks up to me, giving me a soft pat on the shoulder. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. You're a good friend. Yeah, well, I just hope being a good friend to you it doesn't end up costing us another good friend. I don't think Kaken would break his friendship with us because we spoke up. Until today, we also didn't know how bad his relationship was with his family or about their company being torn up. How much are you willing to bet on what we think of him? That's a fair point. We both jump in surprise at the sound of the door opening again, scrambling to try to pretend that we weren't talking to each other like two kids who were caught doing something bad, doing something bad until we realized we had no reason to do it in the first place. Are you alright? I think so. Dealing with my family can be so exhausting at times. My head is spinning. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Kaken, there's something that we kind of wanted to say. What is it? Sai and I both look at each other, swallowing multiple times and trying to come up with the courage to say what we wanted to say. We don't think that, that the way you treated your dad was, um, that it was right. Oh. Oh! Oh, I like the detail right there. Oh, that's weird. Oh. He's getting serious. Oh? How so? It's just, we get that your grandpa really, grandma really, grandpa, your grandma really is a bitch with a capital B, but your dad really looked like he was trying his hardest to be nice to you. I get that you might think he doesn't like you either, but I'll stop you two right there. His, his voice came out surprisingly soft. His knuckles were pressed tightly against the palms of his hand and his nose was flared up with anger, but his voice still came out incredibly soft and low to the point of being hard to hear. That by itself somehow made him sound even scarier than he would if he had been yelling at us. I think he doesn't like me. What do you know about me or him to tell me what I do or do not think? Okay, um, I think I might have expressed myself badly there. No, you expressed yourself perfectly fine. You two don't know what my family is like, but you still think you're entitled to give me your opinion about how I deal with them. You've seen my father, what, twice? And yet you, st and yet you think you know him. Well, here's a newsflash for you two. You don't. I've lived with him for most of my life. He would barely even talk to me unless it was to tell me to do something or to censor me, so I think I know what I'm talking about when I told tell you what he's like. We didn't mean to offend you or anything, we just assumed. Yes, that's the problem. You assumed. You have no idea what things are like here because I make sure never to say anything about it, because I don't want anyone else having to get involved with my problems or having to shoulder my burdens. You don't know what it's like here. You shouldn't assume. I know what I'm talking about, okay? Believe me, I know. Is your dad really that bad? He seemed like he was trying to be nice. Huh. Seemed. My family lives on appearances. Why do you... Why do you think my grandmother hates me so much? 
Who do you, how do you think it makes her feel that her precious company is to be inherited by a bastard child? That's not an image she wants for the company, yet she has no choice. Do you want to know what he came, what he came over today? Do you want to know why he came over today? It wasn't because he wanted to see me or have dinner with me or just enjoy family time with me. He came to ask me to drop out of the light music club. How is it going to look for us if the people find out you're involved with a rock band? Or some crap like that. Because, once again, what matters here is appearances. Saya bites her lip, crossing her arms and rubbing her elbows, her eyes glued to the floor. Oh, I I'm sorry, I, I really thought he was trying to be nice. That's exactly the that's exactly the problem, isn't it? Oh man, it's got really uncomfortable here all of a sudden. Um, how did we how did he even find out about that? The band, I mean. I'm not sure. I think he might have asked the principal to keep tabs on my activities in school. I wouldn't put that past him either. So you're going to leave the club? Hell no, screw him. I told him if he wanted to get me out of there, then he'd have to be he'd have to have me dragged out kicking and screaming. That's a bit dramatic. Maybe, but it still serves my point. I'm not going to stop doing something perfectly normal that I like just to do just because of someone else's selfish desires. His image isn't my problem. You think he'll try doing something to get you out? Who knows? I've never known him to be much more than a spineless jerk, but I don't know how I don't know how much it takes to get him to snap. I bite my tongue to keep myself from making an unkind comment towards everything. I really don't need to deal with you two criticizing me on top of everything else. Sorry. Please don't blame you, Ichikun. Talking to you was my idea. He didn't want to say anything. What, Saya, what are you doing? Telling the truth. I don't want Keiken to get mad at you for something that I forced you into doing. You didn't force me into anything. Hm. Wait, why are you laughing at us? Sorry, it's just you two are too paranoid. Paranoid? Look, it doesn't annoy me that you guys would give me shit for stuff you don't know about, but I'm not going to be mad at you. It does annoy me. I know you two were only trying to help me. I can appreciate that, even if I don't appreciate how you tried to do it. So, wait, you're not mad at us? Annoyed, but not mad. You don't have to worry about it. Huh, so I was worrying over nothing there, too. I guess this is partly my fault. I should have at least given you guys a basic explanation of my family dynamics before bringing you into my house. It was stupid of me to think I could do it without my grandmother or father noticing. Honestly, I'm slightly uncomfortable that you invited us over without their permission. I don't need anyone's permission to invite people here. The only reason I live here is because they want me to so that they can have an easier time keeping tabs on me. I could move out if I wanted, but it's not worth the hassle. I love this YouTuber. I think this YouTuber used uh, this exact music and the... Uh, one of the one of the episodes of uh, Michael Rosen's Maniacal Parents. Uh, if you guys like, if you, any of you like YTP, I highly recommend the the Maniacal Parents series, Michael Rosen's Maniacal Parents series, and the remake of that as well. Yes, it's so popular it got its own remake. <laughs> anyway, oh god, I've really veered off off topic here. Couldn't your father just stop giving you money if you tried that? He could, but with the amount I have saved up, I could live comfortably without a job for many, many years. Are you kidding me? How much do you have saved up? That's a question I'm not comfortable with answering. Jeez, you're such a tease. T tease? I don't mind her. She's just being an she's just being annoying for the sake of being annoying. Hey! Ow! You really don't think before you talk, do you? I was obviously going to end up like this. Are you calling me violent? Is the sky blue? What? That means yes, he's calling you violent. Ow! You're lucky Alex isn't here anymore, otherwise he'd have already thrown you out the window. Is it bad that I can totally imagine him doing that? It's a terrifying thought now that I think about it. I think I'll refrain from hitting you again while we're here. I wish you'd refrain from hitting me at all. But baby steps, I guess. Hey, Kaken, I know you said that you'll just ignore what your dad said, but aren't you in trouble with your grandmother? That's the thing I was worried about. I don't really care what she has to say about me, but the fact that Alex got punished for it really pisses me off. What kind of punishment would she inflict on him? She'll probably have him reassigned for a few days, so I won't be able to talk to him much. Not to mention a payment cut this month. That's just cruel! Unfortunately, cruel is just child's play for her. I'm just going to pay Alex back the difference once I find out how much she discounted from his salary. Jeez, the fact that you can afford to just say stuff like that is scary. Uh, sometimes I forget that you really are p a pampered rich boy. Pampered? Who else would just go around saying stuff like, It doesn't matter if he got punished, I'll just pay him more. That makes me pampered. I thought I was being responsible here. Alright, don't again, don't mind her. She's just trying to annoy you. But I'm not! 
Sure, you can pay him back for the money he lost because of you, but that doesn't make me doesn't make up for all the other stuff. Other stuff? Yeah, getting berated by your bosses, getting blamed for something that wasn't your fault, stuff like that. Giving him money won't make him feel less crappy over that. Ah. Cake and shoulders slump as he leans forward, rubbing the bridge of his nose. I I never thought of that. Are you sure Alex would even care about that? No offense, but the dude didn't look like the type to be bothered by it in the slightest. You're just assuming he can't be hurt because he looks stoic? That's just rude, Yuichi-kun. Rude? How am I rude? And Mizuguchi-san is right. Alex might look and act very detached, but he's not made of stone. He has feelings of his own, too. If he did, if he didn't, he wouldn't have bothered befriending me or putting up with my crap. That's... I can't really argue with that. <sighs> Every time I think I've made some progress on the way I act, I'm reminded that there's still stuff that I need to fix. And no one's perfect, you just have to be aware of your own flaws. Said one of the least self-aware people I know. Hey, I'm aware of my problems. I just choose not to do anything about them. What? Then what right do you have to chastise him? Saya shrugs, shooting me a devious smile. Do as I say, not as I do. You're impossible. Teehee. <laughs> don't try to play it off by acting cute. It's fine, I don't mind it much. See? Kaken agrees with me. You're far too lenient with her. I seem to remember you doing a lot more stuff than I, that I let slide with Mizuguchi-san. No comment. Ugh, there's a lot of things I'll have to think over, after all. Should we just leave you so you can be alone? What? God, no. The last thing I want right now is to be alone. I think you guys underestimate how much peace of mind it gives me having you around. Huh? Really? Yeah. I've never really felt comfortable in here. This place might be my house, but it's certainly not a home. Having you guys here makes it a lot more tolerable, though. I dare even say that's all that it's fun. I'm glad to hear that we can help. Yeah, if you ever need to talk to someone, you know we're always here for you. Thanks, I appreciate it. And mushy stuff aside, how about we look for something else we can do until Kuro till Kuroda comes back with the food? How about you tell us a little more about the band you joined? The band? Why do you want to know about that? I, I got to meet your bandmates and all, but that, and all that, but I don't think Saya did. Yeah, that's true. I only heard about you joining a band. I have no idea what they're like. Well, I'm pretty sure you're in the same class as some of your some of our members. R really? Who? Ichigo-san and Kagaho-san. They're our vocalist and bassist. Wait, really? Ichigo-chan is in a rock band? No way! It was really surprising to me, too. None of the girls look like the type to be in a band, but even, but even so they are. And they're all good at it, too. It's true. I heard them playing once, and I was blown away by it. No fair. I want to see them playing, too. I'll try asking for them for permission to bring you later. I don't. I don't think Miz I don't think Minazuki would be against it in the slightest. Yeah, Ichiko-san and I are friendly with each other. I guess that's fair. Do you guys have any idea when you're going to perform for your your first show? They were wanting to do it at the festival. I've been trying to help organize it. Organize it? You're not performing with them? Me? God no. There's no way I'd stand in front of a crowd to sing or play. And yet you're totally fine with doing it to play tennis. This and that are totally different things. I'm not so sure about that. Besides, Minazuki already wanted you to sing with her, didn't she? Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!